Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on quadratic and harder graphs. Uh, so this is the second video on this topic. We'll be covering a couple more different types of graph that you need to be familiar with. Uh, the first of which is reciprocal graphs. So reciprocal graphs have the form y equals k over x. Now k can take any value. Uh, in the example we have here, we have the graph y equals 1 over x. So that's probably the most straightforward example. Now these graphs can be quite strange to get your head around, and that's because uh, the graphs that they produce uh, end up looking like two graphs. So why does this happen? Uh, well, let's just consider some easy examples. So first of all, let's consider what happens when x equals 1. Uh, well, if y equals 1 divided by x, then y equals 1 divided by 1, which is just 1. Uh, so as you can see, there is the point 1, 1 on the graph here. So if I mark on 1, you can see it a bit more clearly. Uh, but what happens if we have x equals minus 1? So I'll use green here just to differentiate. Uh, so uh, if we have y equals 1 over x, then it becomes y equals 1 divided by minus 1. Now, uh, y divided by minus 1 is just minus 1. So as you can see, we also have the point minus 1, minus 1. Uh, so the implication is essentially that uh, anytime you have a negative value of x, you end up with a negative value of y. And anytime you have a positive value of x, you end up with a positive value of y. So the graph is restricted to these two quadrants. That's in the top right here and in the bottom left here. In terms of the structure of the graphs, uh, you should also be aware that these uh, lines are asymptotes. So that means they get closer and closer to the axes, but never actually touch. Uh, and that's because as you get closer and closer to zero, um, one divided by that value becomes increasingly large. Uh, but once you get to zero, uh, the region is undefined. And the same as you get increasingly large, uh, one divided by a much larger number just gets smaller and smaller, uh, but it never becomes zero. So the final thing to point out is that this is the same regardless of the value of k. So it could be two, it could be three, it could be a million. Uh, the graph will generally have this sort of structure.